Hi, welcome to the Read With Me series and Introduction to Indian Art Part 1 Textbook in Fine Arts for Class 11 Chapter 5 Later Moral Traditions Even after Rajanta, very few sites with paintings have survived which provide valuable evidences to reconstruct the tradition of paintings. It may also be noted that the sculptures too were plastered and painted. The tradition of cave excavations continued further at many places where sculpting and painting were done simultaneously. Badami. One such site is Badami in the state of Karnataka. Badami was the capital of the western Chalukyan dynasty which ruled the region from 543 to 598 CE. With the decline of the Vakataka rule, the Chalukyas established their power in the Deccan. The Chalukya king Mangalesha patronized the excavation of the Badami cave. He was the younger son of the Chalukya king Pulakesi I and the brother of Kirti Varman one. The inscription of cave number four mentions the date 578 to 579 CE, describes the beauty of the cave and includes the dedication of the image of Vishnu. Thus, it may be presumed that the cave was excavated in the same era and the patron records his Vaishnava affiliation. Therefore, the cave is popularly known as the Vishnu cave. Only a fragment of the painting has survived on the vaulted roof of the front mandapa. Paintings in this cave depict palace scenes. One shows Kirtivarman, the son of Pulakesi I and the elder brother of Mangalesha, seated inside the palace with his wives and feudatories watching a dance scene. Towards the corner of the panel are figures of Indra and his retinue. Stylistically speaking, the painting represents an an extension of the tradition of mural painting from Ajanta to Badami in South India. The sinuously drawn lines, fluid form and compact composition exemplify the proficiency and maturity the artist had achieved in the 6th century CE. The gracefully drawn faces of the king and the queen remind us of the style of modeling in Ajanta. Their eye sockets are large, eyes are half closed and lips are protruding. It is not worthy to Observe that the contour of different parts of the face create protruding structures of the face itself. Thus, with the simple line treatment, artist could create volume. Murals under the Pallava, Pandava and Chola king. The tradition of painting extended further down south in Tamil Nadu in the preceding centuries with regional variation during the regimes of Pallava, Pandya and Chola dynasties. The Pallava kings who succeeded the Chalukya kings in part of South India were also patrons of art. Mahindra Varman I who ruled in the 7th century was responsible for building temples at Pannamalai, Mandagapattu and Kanjipuram. The inscription at Mandagapattu mentions Mahindra Varman I with numerous titles such as Bijitra Chitta that is curious minded. These are the Sitanavasal paintings of early Pandya period 9th century CE. Chitrakarapuli, tiger among artists, Chaityakari, temple builder, which show his interest in art activities. The painting in these temples too were done at his initiative, though only fragments remain. The Panamalai figure of a female divinity is drawn gracefully. Paintings at the Kanjipuram temple were patronized by the Pallava king Raj Simha. Only traces of paintings remain now, which depict Somskanda. Faces are round and large. Lines are rhythmic with increased ornamentation when compared with the paintings of an earlier period. Depiction of torso still remain like the earlier sculptural tradition but is elongated. When the Pandya rose to power, they too patronized art. Tirumalai Puram Cave and Jaina Cave at the Sitana Vasal are some of the surviving examples. A few fragmented layers of paintings can be seen in Tirumalai Puram. In Sitana Vasal, the paintings are visible on the ceiling of shrines, in verandas and on the brackets. On the pillars of the veranda are seen dancing figures of celestial nymphs. The contours of figure are firmly drawn and painted in vermilion red on a slighter background. The body is rendered in yellow with a subtle modeling. Supple limbs, expression on the faces of dancers, rhythm in their swaying movement all speak of the artist's skill in creative imagination in visualizing the forms in the architectural context. Their eyes are slightly elongated and at times protrude off the face. 
This feature is observed in many subsequent paintings in the Deccan and South India. The tradition of building temples and embellishing them with the carvings and paintings continued during the reign of the Chola king who ruled over the region from the 9th to 13th century. But it was in the 11th century when the Cholas reached their zenith of power that masterpieces of Chola art and architecture began to appear. The temples of Brihadeshwara at Tanjavur, Gangaikonda Cholapuram and Dharasuram were built during the reigns of Rajaraj Chola and his son Rajendra Chola. Though Chola paintings are seen in Narthamalai, the most important are those in Brihadeshwara temple. The paintings were executed on the walls of the narrow passage surrounding the shrine. Two layers of paint were found when they were discovered. The upper layer was painted during the Nayak period in the 16th century. Thanks to this cleaning of the surface painting, examples of the great tradition of painting during the Chola period were unveiled. The painting show narrations and aspects related to Lord Shiva, Shiva in Kailash, Shiva as Tripurantaka, Shiva as Nataraja, a portrait of the patron Rajaraja and his mentor Kuruvar, dancing figures, etc. Vijayanagara murals. The paintings of Brihadeshwara temple exemplify the stylistic maturity the artist evolved over the years. Sainal predetermined flow of lines, supple modeling of figures, elongation of the physiognomic features of human figures, all these represent the perfection the Chola artist had achieved during the period on the one hand and the phase of transition on the other. With the decline of power of the Chola dynasty in the 13th century, the Vijayanagara dynasty captured and brought under its control the region from Hampi to Trichy with Hampi serving as its capital. Many paintings survive in a number of temples. The paintings at Tiruparakundram near Trichy, done in the 14th century, represent the early phase of the Vijayanagara style. In Hampi, the Virupaksha temple has paintings on the ceilings of its Mandapa narrating events from dynastic history and episodes from the Ramayana and Mahabharata. Among the important panels are the one which shows Vidyaranya, the spiritual teacher of Bukharaya Harsha, being carried in the Pala Queen in the procession and the incarnations of Vishnu. The faces of the figure are shown in profile with large frontal eyes. The figures have narrow waist. In Lepakshi near Hindupur in present Andhra Pradesh, there are glorious examples of Vijayanagara paintings on the walls of the Shiva temple. In keeping with the tradition, the Vijayanagara painters evolved a pictorial language wherein the faces are shown in profile and figures and objects two-dimensionally. Lines become still but fluid. Compositions appear in rectilinear compartments. These stylistic conventions of the preceding centuries were adopted by artists in various centers in South India as can be seen in the paintings of the Nayaka period. Nayaka paintings of the 17th and 18th century are seen in Tiruparakundram, Sri Rangam and Tiruvarur. In Tiruparakundram, paintings are found of two different periods of the 14th and 17th century. Early painting depicts scenes from the life of Vardhamana Mahavira. The Nayaka paintings depict episodes from the Mahabharata and the Ramayana and also scenes from Krishna Leela. In Tiruvarur, there is a panel narrating the story of Muchukunda. In Chidambaram, there are panels of painting narrating stories related to Shiva and Vishnu, Shiva as Bhikshatana Murti, Vishnu as Mohini, etc. In the Sri Krishna temple at Chengam in Arko district, there are 60 panels narrating the story of the Ramayana which represent the late phase of Nayaka painting. The example cited above suggests that Nayaka paintings were more or less an extension of the Vijayanagara style with minor regional modifications and incorporations. The figures mostly in profile are set against a flat background. Male figures are shown slim waisted but with less heavy abdomen as compared to those in Vijayanagara. The artist as in the previous centuries and following traditions tried to infuse movement and make the space dynamic. The paintings of Nataraja at Tiruvalanjuli is a good example. Kerala murals. Kerala painters during the period from the 16th to 18th century evolved a pictorial language and technique of their own while discriminately adopting certain stylistic elements from Nayaka and Vijayanagara school. The painters evolved a language taking cues from contemporary traditions like Kathakali and Kalam Elith using vibrant and luminous colors. 
representing human figures in three dimensionality most of the paintings are seen on the walls of shrines and cloister walls of temples and some inside palaces thematically two paintings from kerala stand apart most of the narrations are based on those episodes from hindu mythology which were popular in kerala the artist seems to have derived sources from oral traditions and local versions of the ramayana and mahabharata for painted narration more than 60 sites have been found with mural paintings which include three palaces Dutch Palace in Kochi, Krishnapuram Palace in Kayamkulam and Padmanabhapuram Palace among the sites where one can see the mature phase of Kerala's mural painting traditions are Pundarikapuram Krishna Temple, Panayanar Kav, Tirukodittanam, Tripparayar, Sri Rama Temple and Trishur Vaikundanathan Temple. Even today we observe that mural paintings on interior and exterior walls of houses in villages or havelis is prevalent in different parts of the country. These paintings are usually made by women either at the time of ceremonies or festivals or as a routine to clean and decorate the walls. Some of the traditional forms of murals are pitoro in parts of Rajasthan and Gujarat, pithila paintings in the northern Bihar's Mithila region, varli paintings in Maharashtra or simply paintings on the walls, be it in the village of Odisha or Bengal, Madhya Pradesh or Satisgarh. The picture depicts the Krishna playing flute accompanied by Gopikas Krishna temple at Pundarikapuram. Thank you.